Yeah, just one over Mick here. Just a, um, I'm going to make sure my fly's done up. Just a uh, real quick review on a couple of things. So here I am, we're at the, getting towards the last days of straighten the old hat up, the old bally noggin. She's under, under cover of the hat. These are good hats. It used to be an Australian made hat. She's getting from down Brisbane. I used to buy them direct from the factory. First started wearing these when I worked for Telstra. And um, they're a double, double lined hat. They were made in Brisbane at the time. Mount Castle hats, I think they are. Mount Castle, they supply schools and a lot of government entities, Energex, power authorities, water, Telstra. Bloody brilliant hat. Well, this hat's probably five years old. Worn every day. Sweat, massive amount of sweat. It's starting to fray on here. It's real comfortable. I, got, I, I bought about ten of them. Because I didn't sell it, didn't want to sell them in small numbers, but just uh, basically my wife pleaded with them because I, they're that comfortable. And uh, anyway, I've got about ten. And uh, yeah, best hat I've ever worn by far. I don't like big, thick leather hats. Um, and these, you can sit on them and crump them up and chuck them in your backpack when you go riding on a motorbike, whatever. That's how good they are. So, pretty re well renowned for wearing these hats, these blue hats. Got one in black, but it's, it's too hot. But, um, real, real quick, quick 12 month or not quite 12 month, we'll say 12 month review on my. Um, Still FS triple one handlebars, bull bar handlebars, and also a uh, quick 12 month review on my or thereabouts on my Osvana in Australia $200 dollars, $220 or $220 harness. This is brilliant, best harness I've ever used. Not saying the other makers don't make a harness every bit exactly the same, but. Got a local Husqvarna deal here, so I bought it off them, and uh, I've got other good harnesses, but you know, higher end harnesses, you can go another hundred dollar harness dealer again with the Husky in Australia, so three hundred plus. Um, but this one here, the harness is it's a brilliant harness. Uh, effectively, you can have a brush cutter hanging off it. That's this here, and that's all self-adjusting, that back and forth. Probably the only thing you got, and you just. You just adjust the pull downs and that adjusts and you've got this one up here which is just a big bat so good harness and you can adjust the weight to how you want it so in my opinion uh, worth every cent you know you can probably buy a harness for $70 or $60 or $80 or whatever if you're doing a lot of brush cutting, you're better off spending the big bucks. So that's the harness, and still Husqvarna, Shindower, all the major brush cutter brands build their own, but I just so happen to have a Husky one, and I run a few different types of gear. Majority of my gear still, I run Bush Ranger brush cutter. I'll do a 12 month review on it, it's going good, it's going real good, it's a two stroke, but it's still triple one four mix. Um, just quickly, it's not light, it's not, not a lightweight, probably got a bit more torque, well not probably, it's got more torque than the 30 odd cc Bush Ranger 2 stroke, um, bloody probably twice as heavy, is heavy, uh, not heavy as in massive brush cutter, but it's quite heavy, the quality of the build is typical of still, it's, it's perfection. Uh, couldn't whinge about this brush cutter at all, apart from being probably if you're doing, I can do six to seven hours, up to eight hours brush cutting a day when I'm on big properties. Uh, definitely six, nearly every time I use it. And it, you do feel the weight after a while. But I'm used to running with FS 250s when I was working in the local government in the council. I've used FS 252 strokes for years. This, this is lighter than one of them, of course. Still quality, um, had it serviced, it's done a lot of work in the 12 months. I've had it serviced once, that's at BY Small Engines. The quality is shield, which in my opinion is second to none, um, and I've done a lot of brush cutting. Your handlebar arrangement is totally adjustable, plus you can turn it 
just with this here what I really like about the stills and um, I'm not saying the other brands but you just turn that on its edge like that and I store it in my trailer with my mower a lot easier so then able to do that and then once you get it just this thing's just about to kick in up I just want to do a real quick review on this 12 month review quality fitting there hook which all the others have got too in the, in the higher end stuff but you can adjust the handlebars to however you like it like I said you can swivel it store it and then just lock it down and brilliant machine now I didn't start it this morning so we're going to do a cold start just to show you uh, that there on that there is high quality on the harness give you an idea, I run 3.0 cord in this speed feed head. Now the bigger speed feed heads like on this, great head, but if you're brush cutting and have a yarn and hit a rock, severe rock or something, they can will blow the bottom off them, um, not to pieces, but you've got to find it. there's a spring and there's a washer. So if you hit it hard on something, which you should be hitting hard on something, but sometimes you do, you've just got to be aware that if you feel a vibration, there's probably a fair chance that this will have popped half apart like that. And I'm saying, if you blow it apart, what you will blow apart is you'll lose that spring and that washer. And um, it happens, happens regularly if you're really heavy going, but maybe you probably should be, I mean, I mean heavy going knocking down stuff that's nearly as round as your thumb and you know, you're probably better off to go to a solid head for that because these aren't designed to do that but that just clicks back in, clicks back in. I love the speed feed heads. Uh, so other than that we will see how this thing starts. Now it hasn't been started today so what I'll do is I'm going to give her a prime up because being hot here in South East Queensland I don't think it'll need a choke. And still, you just hit the button, they switch off and they go back to, to, you don't have to flick them up or down or off and on, it just goes back. So we're going to see how many pulls it takes. No, she's going to need a choke. Dog will start in here. That's it, that's my quick review. My first triple one, that was hard to start the normal. We'll just give her another, we'll give her another hit in the guts. Well, I just went through the actions wrong, I probably should have choked it right from the go. That's a bit of inexperience, we might say. Look, I'm going to leave that. That's this little FS triple one, 12 month review. Can't fold it at all. Uh, I'll do a 12 month review on my Bush Ranger. When it comes up 12 months old, I might even do a six month review. I'm going to leave that double thumbs up from Swinno Mick on the last bids for 2020. Swinno Mick from Swenson's Main Grounds Maintenance from the seat of the Greenfield. Swinno Mick out.